Good morning, everyone. It's me, Jessica, your health fitness program manager from McLean, and I'm ready to guide you through today's Lit Express workout. I'm going to recommend that you bring a towel of some sort. If you don't have a towel, a t-shirt will work. We're going to use that on the floor in just a couple minutes. I just realized I was somewhere unprepared. It happens. All right, let's go ahead and get started with the nice lateral side to side step. So stepping your feet side to side and be nice and slow and quiet. Keep your chest up and let's squeeze shoulder blades together to really start warming up. I'm just going to step forward. You can even step forward and back if you want to, because that's going to help you um, get your heart rate up a little bit higher if that's something you're interested in. I'm mostly stepping forward just to make sure things are straight. Okay, so we're still getting that nice lateral side to side step tap. A nice squeeze of your shoulder blades and a drive of your elbows behind you. Let's change it up just a little bit and add a knee drive in three, two, one. So just driving that knee down, reaching hands down to the floor. You can use your exhale. We're starting to warm up our abs. Let's get eight more on each side. Seven, six, five, Four, using my breath each time that knee drives up. Last two, one. Awesome, plant your feet down. Take a deep breath, bend your knees, inhale, stretch all the way up towards the ceiling. Exhale, relax your arms down by your side. One more big breath just like that. Bend your knees, inhale, reach all the way up. Pull your belly in. We're gonna bend our knees, reach down to the floor. Maybe you can touch it, maybe you can't. Then touch your hips, the sky. Hips reach to the floor, hips sky. Each time that you're reaching to the floor, I want you to make sure that you have your belly pulled in nice and tight. You can be reaching down and hinge from your hips, or you can take a generous bend of your knees. Yes, I'm getting a little bit faster each time. Last eight, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Stay up nice and tall. Reach to the side and tap that right foot out. Hands can come back to your waist. Reach and twist. Warming up that upper back a little bit more for eight, seven. Getting a little instability by tapping your toe out, making you draw in your core. Last four, three, two, one. Awesome. Bend your knees, inhale, arms all the way up overhead again. Pull your belly in. Exhale, rain or swan dive down to the floor. We're going to bring knees down to the floor. Once you get here, make sure that your towel is nearby. I should have also reminded you not to bring your weights with you, but I forgot. So maybe you, like me, need to walk or wiggle forward, grab hold of some weights. We're going to use weights for some kneeling rows. We're also going to use weights for some uh, lat side raises. I bet you might be able to do a little bit more weight in your row than you're able to get in your side raise, especially if you're just getting back to working out. All right, hands, palms down on the floor. Ooh, give me a couple cat cows right here while you're doing these big cat cows. So I'm going to set this timer. So find whatever stretch feels good for you. We're gonna be pretty gentle today, I think. We're gonna do 40 seconds of work and a whole 20 seconds of rest. We've got six moves to get through. That's right, we're gonna do each of them twice. Last 
last a little bit of your cat cows. Maybe you shake or shimmy your shoulders or hips side to side. Make sure your towel is nearby. And then lower yourself down onto the floor. First move is going to be a, a little W style Superman. So you're going to hold onto the edges of your towel. Make sure your weights are not in your way. I'm a little short on space, so I'm just going to wiggle myself back. But I promise I'm still pressing the tops of my feet down to the floor the best that I can. There's a lot of bird seed over there. Okay. Uh, so then with the Tops of the feet pressed down to the floor. Kneecaps can gently lift up. Glutes squeeze. Pelvis presses down towards the mat. You're going to roll your shoulders down and back. And then on your inhale, squeeze shoulder blades back. Work to get as much of this towel under your chest and then carefully extend it back forward. You're ready in three, two, one. Begin. So arms extend out in front and then I say inhale, I might exhale as elbows draw back. Inhale as arms go forward. Let that whole length of breath out. Exhale, 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 squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then inhale on the way forward. Try not to spend too much time just resting on the floor, arms forward. We're getting our work with our elbows pulled behind us on the drawback. Are you working to try and get that towel a little further under your chest? Yeah, one more pull. Great. Next up, we've got a plank. I know. But I also added down dog right into that plank. If you're not ready for the plank, you can stay on your knees and then just shift back into your child's pose. Otherwise, press yourself up into your plank. And then from here, you can bend your knees and send glutes back towards heels and start to bring biceps towards ears and then rocket yourself forward. Or you can send hips up towards the sky for more of that hamstring stretch and down dog, still belly coming towards thighs and biceps by the ears. And then once again, shift the weight forward. I recommend staying in your plank until you feel like, oh, I need a break with your shoulder blade squeeze and your belly pulled in. And when you need that break, send your hips up. We got a couple more seconds here. Walk your knees in, grab your weights. Time for our kneeling rows. Challenge yourself to the heaviest weight that feels good. We're gonna stay hinge. We're gonna change up the timing of our rows today. So start with your arms down by your side, nice flat back, glutes behind you, and let's draw both elbows up. Hold them there, squeeze shoulder blades together, try not to let your rib carriage flare, and then relax both arms down. Give me a right row. Give me a left row, then give me both arms together. Hold for three, two, one, release down. Now give me a left row and a right row, just alternating which arm we start with, both arms for three, two, one, arms down. We got that right arm. Really squeeze shoulder blade in, elbow in. Now both arms for three. Hold it one extra second to pull your belly in. One, break. Arms down to the floor. We're coming back down to the floor. We got another back focus move. Next up are snow angels. So starting with your arms in front of you, palms facing down. We're gonna rotate our arms all the way back towards our glutes and then give yourself a thumbs up at the back. Good, and then arms come all the way forward. I am a little shorter in space, so I'm gonna turn. Our segment time has started though. So arms forward, press the tops of the feet, the glutes squeeze as you come around, give yourself that thumbs up and then hands back forward. So my palms are facing down, down, down. Then they start to rotate, turn up. Ooh, I bet it's actually easier to turn it up in that opposite direction. It sure was. Yay. All right. Next up, we've got dead bug. Press and hold. So roll over onto your glutes. 
Press your lower back down to the floor. Bend your knees. We're going to push against our thighs so our lower back presses down to the mat. Ready? Find that push for three, two, one. Release gentle toe tap or heels tap to the floor and then knees stack over hips. Press against your thighs. Lower back pushes to the floor. Two, one. Release. If you need to, you can tap one foot and then the other foot if your abs are really feeling challenged. Press for three, two, one. Relieve your pressure. Find your toe tap. Just keep going. We're finding this press and hold for three to five seconds. And while you press and hold, make sure to take a break. If there wasn't a big arch in the back, that's what we're trying to eliminate right here. We got one last move. We can come on up to kneeling. You might need a slightly lighter weight than you did for your row and hold. We got some lot work. Start with your arms down by your side. Shoulders roll down and back. And raise your arms out to the side. Shoulder height. And then lower down. Now we're going to bring it to the front. Bring it to the front. Shoulders down. You can stay right here alternating between one and the other. Or we can mix this up a little bit. So I'm going to bring my one arm out to the side, one arm forward. Great. And then other side. If you want a little bit more of a challenge, we're going to find that lift. And then rotate and lower. And then start in the opposite direction. It's a little bit more core work, a little bit more challenge to your shoulders. So keep going. Last one. Put your weights down. Come back down to the floor. We got those towel rows again. So get ready to make that big W. Six, scooch back. Three, two, begin. Press the tops of the feet into the floor. Squeeze your glutes. Oh, I know this is getting good because I can just start to smell my amazing deodorant. If you're not getting quite as high as me, that's okay. I have a lot of flexibility in my back spine. But that's also why it's so important to work on the strength because it's not just about being flexible. We want to be strong. All right. Next up is our plank to down dog. Planked down dog, some sort of a rocket dog. I'm going to take a couple cat cows in this break time. In three, two, one. Challenge yourself in this plank. So make sure for your plank, uh, shoulders are shifted forward. Upper back is engaged. Still, I know, you just worked it and we're working it again. And if slash when you need a break, you're going to send your hips up. To the sky, take that down dog, biceps come towards ears, and then shift forward as soon as you're ready. I got some great news. We are more than halfway through. Last three, two, walk your knees in. We got those kneeling rows. Remember, we're going to find a three second hold. And then we're going to do each arm one at a time. Press yourself up onto your knees. Find a hinge from your hips. Send your glute back. Nice flat back. Shoulders roll down and back. Three, two, draw and hold. Squeeze shoulder blades together. Knit your rib cage in. Both arms release down. Let's get left arm row, right arm row. Both arms row for three. Two, one, release, right arm first, right arm row, the left arm row. How's that upper back, mid back feeling? Squeeze both. Two, one, release, one arm and then the other. Squeeze and hold. We got one more time for each. Here we go. Find single rows. You're worth it. Put your weights down. The side we've got those snow angels again 
Now, if you, like me, are limited in space, instead of doing the snow angel, we can still get this good opportunity with fingers stretched towards the back. You can start with the backs of the hands on the floor, press the tops of the feet into the floor, and then give yourself a thumbs up so that your palms are turning out to the side. It's going to be a little less, a lot more open. So keep that posterior chain active. Can you keep it active the whole time? So even though you're lowering down, you still have your glute squeeze. You still have the tops of the feet pressed down towards the floor. And if that gets tired too and it needs a break, that's fine. But re-engage through the tops of the feet, squeeze the glutes, press pelvis down, and then activate your back. We're setting ourselves up. Just like you set yourself up for the row. You didn't just start rowing. You hinged over first. All right, what's next? We got our dead bug press and hold. Almost done, y'all, but there's still plenty more core work. If you want to stick around uh, after this and tune into Jenna's class, go ahead, bend your knees, come into your reverse tabletop, find your press and hold for three, two, eliminate all light and space from your lower back, and then release. You want a little bit more challenge? Arms can even come up overhead. And then press and hold for three, two, one. Find your either single leg toe tap or double leg toe tap. Even more challenge, lift your shoulders off of the mat. Three, two, really push your hands against your thighs and thighs against hands. We're almost there. We did it. Go ahead, come into kneeling or stand all the way up. This is our last move. I'm going to stand all the way up. Let's get those lat raises. Remember, you got many different options for this lat raise. We can just go to the side and go to the front. We're going to start with that. Here we go. Shoulders rolled down and back. Up to the side, squeezing that back. And then to the front, shoulders relaxed away from ears. One more time, just to the side. I'm glad I went with heavier weights this week. Did you increase or try to increase your weights this week? Now a little split, a little left and right, a little right and left. And now I'm going to rotate it up to the side, rotate around. You get more time under tension when you do this rotation. A little bit more on the shoulders, a little bit more in your abs as well. We did it. Finish your last move, and then carefully put your weights down. Go ahead, shake your arms out for a sec. You know they might be a little bit tired. Let's go ahead, open and close arms. Squeeze shoulder blades. Is that a sweat mark on the floor? Wow. Feels good for barely 8.20 in the morning. All right. Go ahead, open your feet. A little bit wider than shoulders with distance apart and actually turn your toes out to get started. You can still bend your knees. We're going to inhale arms up. Exhale arms down and then slide them down your thighs. Come on into Malasana. Horse pose. Shoulders relaxed away from your ears. Drop your right shoulder down and look over your left shoulder. Bring in a nice stretch into your upper back. And then look over your right shoulder. Drop your left shoulder down. One more time in each direction. Take that gentle twist. Get that nice stretch in your mid upper back. And then opposite direction. And then still here in this horse pose, lots of weight in your heels, not in your toes. Chest comes to center. We're taking a nice standing uh, Cat cow. So just rounding and arching your back. Think about letting your hips lead as well. For a nice little stretch into your low back. One more time each direction. Awesome. Press your heels, stand yourself up. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms come down in line with shoulders. We're going to hinge from the hips. You can turn your feet forward here. Fingers release down to the floor in front of you. If you're feeling tight like me this morning, you can really walk your hands 
a little bit more forward, feel free to bring a generous bend to your knees and then inhale, stretch your right arm up towards the ceiling. Exhale, right hand down. Inhale, left arm up towards the ceiling. Exhale, left hand down. Heel toe your feet in closer towards each other. Take a generous bend of your knees. We're getting a quick little stretch into your hamstrings this morning. Take a moment, shake your head. Yes, yes, I am so proud of myself for showing up. Nope. Shake your head. No, zero regrets. Bend your knees once again. Root to rise. Inhale your arms up overhead. Take a really big stretch. Find a big cactus of your arms here. Roll them down. Lift your chest. One more little back bend and stretch. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, step your feet together, arms down by your side. Just take a moment in your mountain. Great, we did it. That was our back focus with some core lit. I hope you're feeling so good this morning. And if you're not feeling great, come back. Join me for yoga. We'll be here in a couple hours. I'll see you then. Have a great rest of your morning.